Farrell uh, with EXP Realty and the Bergan Farrell team in Bellingham. And we are here today interviewing Sam Hassan. And he and his wife, Nancy, are the owners of Milano's in Fairhaven, a beautiful restaurant that we're gonna learn more about. So um, thank you for joining us today, Sam. My pleasure, yeah. thank you. Well, first of all, I'm just gonna have you describe your business. Tell us about Milano's. Oh, I need three days. Okay. <laughs> well, Buckle up, people. Well, I, I brought Milanos to Fairhaven from the mountain because we, we think we, we deserve to be in a better spot. The mountain is seasonal. Five months of the year, you're dead. So, and uh, I was constrained there. Several things I have on my menu that I couldn't have up there. Mm. And uh, so here, this is my Milanos. Yes. We have the best, I can easily say that, and most uh, extensive wine list of the whole county. I have wines here from $40 to $1,050. All great wines. I don't have a single wine that embarrasses me. I have wines here that I'm the only one to have them in the whole county. Oh, fantastic. I have wines here that I'm the only place to have them in the whole West Coast. I take wow. wine very seriously. Yes. Uh, food and wine walk together. Yes. I have an European mentality when it comes to, to, to restaurants. I'm from Brazil. Uh, yeah, I'm not Italian. I joke here and say, oh, we have, uh, I'm from this very little uh, Italian city that most people never heard of called Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> <laughs> but I can cook Italian. Yes. <laughs> so uh, Brazil also has most European mentality. Uh, when it comes to restaurants because of the Portuguese, the French influence, the Italian influence. So that's what we do here. And uh, the other thing that's really important for us is the quality of what we do. Italian food is simple. Great ingredients, don't invent too much, you know, right. and boom, the result yes. is normally really good. Oh, you're making me hungry. Good. Yeah. That's so I just want to clarify when you say we brought it from the mountain. So Milano's was originally in Glacier, Washington, which is the last little outpost before um, you go up to the Mount Baker Ski area. 25 okay. years there. It was 25 years there. Yes. Yeah, we bought Milano's a bit more than seven years ago from the original owner and wife, and uh, they they had enough. They had 24 years of it. They wanted to retire. Yeah. So uh, we retired them. Mm -hmm. and took over and then made several changes. I opened a really cool bar up there, but uh, not for where it was. Here. here, the front of the restaurant is called Bar Veneto. Venice was together with uh, Genoa, one of the two important, the really two important ports in Italy before Italy was Italy. Mm -hmm. And so my Bar Veneto is decorated maritime motif. And I have lots of pieces there that are collector's items. Okay. Yeah. It's an Italian bar. Mm -hmm. Means that we only have Italian products? Of course not. But we have uh, eight different grappas. We have single malt whiskey from Italy that's fantastic. We have several Italian liqueurs. And Amari, and Amaro, Amari is the plural. Amar, Amaro is a bitter liqueur that's used either as an aperitivo or digestivo. Depends on how intense it is. And it's about educating people. Yes. If you come here, we'll talk to you about the Amari and we'll find a mild one to introduce to you. If you are a person that can really handle it, we can give you a really strong, beautiful Amari. Some people love it. So So the experience when you come here is to come to the bar maybe first, have an Amari before dinner? Uh, the Amaro is... Amaro. Yeah, Amari. Uh, Italian, you put an I in the end, oh. it's plural. Oh. So it's Amaro. Amari. Okay. Uh, you can have an Amaro as an appetizer, an appetizer, uh, uh, aperitivo to open your appetite, but it's traditionally something that you have afterwards. Okay. It's a digestivo. And really, because there's so many strong herbs, it helps digestion. Right. It okay. makes it way easier to digest your food while having fun drinking it. But we also have several cocktails that we do that make Amari. Mm -hmm. uh, Negroni is the ubiquitous, the really. Uh, most famous cocktail from, from Italy. Mm -hmm. We have five different ones. We have five different options of the oh. Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite item on your menu? Well, uh, people come and ask me the question all oh, the time. Oh, okay. 
And my answer is very simple. Do you have kids? Yes, which one is your favorite? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my menu. If it wasn't your favorite, it wouldn't be on the menu. Yeah, I made sure I had only items that I love. Mm -hmm. So they're all a little twist on an Italian dish or my own version of an Italian dish, things that are really unique. Okay. And if it is on the menu, it's because I'm proud to serve it. So I don't have a favorite, really. Okay, and we'll put a link to your menu so that people can go right to your menu and, okay. and see what you have to offer. One thing that stands out is the Hamon Iberico de Bellota. It's, oh. it's a leg of a ham from, from Spain that's aged four years. And this is the top of the range, is a pata negra, uh, bayota, which means pata negra is, is the pig, the black hoof pig. Okay. And bayota is how the Spaniards call the acorns from the oak trees. Oh, so okay. the herd master, he goes into the forest and he tries to guess how many bayotas he's gonna have. So he says, tell them, put 150 pigs here, put 120 pigs here, after they eat, uh, <clears throat> aromatic herbs until the beotas fall. Then they feast on beotas only. Then they're slaughtered, salt, they hang it in mountains with the uh, houses in the mountains with open windows, mm -hmm. with screens so insects and animals can't come in, and it sits there for years. It's just unbelievably good. And the flavors of the herbs that they eat and the acorns that they eat, the Reflect, special acorns, the, all comes yeah, through. Yeah. 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 And, wow. uh, we created two dishes with the hamon iberico. Uh, <clears throat> they're very similar. One is with uh, wild prawns, the other one is with uh, scallops, plus hearts of palm, uh, asparagus, and uh, the hamon. And they're a huge hit, people love it. It's very Beautiful well Beautiful ingredients, simply presented. And balance. The name of the game is balance. balance. You eat there, I had a guy here that was, he is a server on a top restaurant in LA, and uh, <clears throat> a really fine dining restaurant, to give you an idea, there is an Italian winery that makes their Prosecco just for them. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> yeah, special He place. said, what's incredible is how all the flavors are there really well balanced. That's what I look for, on cocktails, on everything. You don't wanna put 52,000 ingredients uh, really weird things that anybody, nobody ever heard of, or pile so many things you can't know what you're having. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, so I know that every night here is special, um, but I understand that you have special events. Yeah. As well. Yeah, we do. Uh, we're trying to bring other events in, like for example on tomorrow night, when you come and we're gonna sample you through a sequence of Amari, the things that go with it appetizers but our main event here that happens every month is our wine dinner it's every every time we do it is a different theme and uh, we do a libretto for every dinner which has the story of what we're doing the winery the wines the food it's a full description of the whole thing it's normally unique wines what we did last time sounds funny Jacuzzi wines. The great patriarch of the family was a farmer and winemaker. So they ended up going to the wine business. Klein wineries in Sonoma, the Kleins and Jacuzzi are practically the same family. Okay. Yeah. The guy that opened Klein was a Jacuzzi guy and a Klein guy, and the Klein is the, grandf the grandson of one of the big Jacuzzi. Okay. So they ended up opening the Jacuzzi wine uh, across the street. When we did the Klein dinner here, and normally, Klein, okay, which wines you don't sell everywhere? These, this is what I want. Okay, I want so this really is an special. example of special yeah. wine. So the Jacuzzi, they don't sell in the in, in United State. Really? Just here. They open it up for us. <laughs> I'm a good beggar. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, that's what we did last night, Jacuzzi wines, and they are fantastic. And grapes like Terogodo that you don't see practically in the US. Or Sagrantino is an amazing grape, but it was used, used as a blender. It's from Umbria, it's not wildly planted, but when you see the wine, when you taste it, you can't believe how good it is. So what I do is to check the wines and pair dishes 
that I choose a theme. This last one was Fourth Tour of Italy. But I've done, uh, the next one is Buon Natale. Is Buon Natale is a uh, Christmas dinner with the typical dishes from Italy for Christmas. And uh, this time, time is a, win a winery called Casa Dei, that they are partners with them. Okay. Winery from Italy. And the wines are incredible. They are practically not known around. When will yeah. that be? It will be 14th of December. It's always on a Wednesday. Yeah. And it's 14th of December. December. I have an event open for uh, reservations, and I have a few. Oh, I want to be on the list. I want to be on the list. Right, exactly. So if you want to be on the list for the for December 14th, um, Buena Notte. No, is that correct? Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Buon Natale is good night. Yes. I'm learning. Buon Natale dinner. Keep your eye on the website. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you can just uh, email us. The email is very hard to memorize. Milanos Fairhaven, no apostrophe, just Milanos Fairhaven at gmail.com. I think we can do that. Or 360 599 2863, and you can reserve. Okay. Hurry up. We're going to. I know. This, last <laughs> it year was like crazy. It. This year is going to be even crazier. Oh, it sounds We wonderful. had a packed house last night, and a lot of people left. I said, oh, put my name. Yeah, yeah. Five, two. So it's already growing. Okay. All right, so get on that, people. I'm, I'm, you'll, you'll see me here. I'm gonna get on that list as okay. soon as I can. Just to give you an idea, there is a tradition in Italy that called uh, the Festa of the Seven uh, Seas, uh, Sette Mare. It's seven different, seven, seven different dishes of seafood. What I do is my appetizer is a plate with seven, seven different appetizers, seafood, Italian, is what opens the night. It sounds wonderful. It's, it all sounds amazing. I'm so glad we had a chance to meet with you and talk to you about this beautiful you. restaurant. Thank if you, you haven't been here before, at least come by and see what they've done with this beautiful location. And um, what's the I, address again? I designed and built the whole restaurant. Yes, what's the address again? Here? Uh, 1210 uh, 11th Street, Fairhaven. Yeah. Lama yeah. advertised the, the, the competition. Across the street we have the famous Dirty Dan Harris. I don't see as a competition. We're no, just on the same business. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Sam. Oh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, thank it was you. A pleasure. Okay. Thank you.